Today we're going to take this old pewter and turn it into a sword. Check it out. Today I'm going to be recycling old pewter I found at a thrift store and turning it into a sword and other cool objects. Pewter is an ideal metal because its melting point is so low you can melt it on your stove at home. Pewter is an alloy consisting mostly of tin with a little bit of antimony and copper. If you try to find pewter in a thrift store, it usually comes brushed, dull, or with a shiny finish. Another way to tell it apart from steel or aluminum is how soft it is. You can bend it with your fingers. If you can carve it out of styrofoam, you can cast it into metal. And for this, I'm going to be using a sword that I carved out. Alright, once you're done carving, it's time to completely cover your object in sand. To do this, just put it in a bucket and slowly add sand around, making sure that there's no air bubbles formed next to your mold. Once the styrofoam is buried, I use a small block to act as a channel to the mold down below. I'm using an old soup can as a funnel and a reservoir to hold the extra metal as I'm pouring it in. This is important because you want to keep pressure on the mold to fill it as fast as possible before the metal cools. Alright, let's get down to business. I'm using a portable stove in a pan without a nonstick coating on it. I'm turning the heat up all the way, and let's start melting some pewter. The coolest thing about this is pewter's low melting point. It's only 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which means no furnace, no charcoal, no propane. You can do this on your home stove. I raise the pewter to over 600 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the perfect temperature for casting. First, we need to remove the old slag layer on top. And then it's time to pour the mold. The pewter is so hot, it instantly melts the styrofoam on contact, leaving a perfect metal cast in its place. After 10 minutes have passed, it's now time to remove the sword from the mold. Great success! Removing the sword from the extra metal was a little bit more difficult than I thought, but once I gave it a little wire brush, the sword was all done. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this little sword. It might not be good at slashing, but it's pretty good at stabbing into soft wood and defenseless little flowers. In addition to the sword, I also cast a little pewter cube out of just a square block of styrofoam. It turned out pretty cool. You can see the marks left by the styrofoam that didn't burn away. I also made a little I love you sign for my significant other. He gave me a duffy. I gave you a thing. Bye bye. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to check back next week for another one just like it. And if you haven't liked it, check out my Facebook page. Bye.